So far in 2022, tech companies worldwide have laid off over 44 and a half thousand employees, according to Levels FYI, which tracks the layoffs worldwide. If this is something that you're worried about, if you're worried that your company will go through a round of, of layoffs and you might be impacted by it, this video is for you because I will give you the warning signs on how to tell that layoffs might be coming and also give you certain steps that you can do the immediate steps to prepare but watch make sure you watch this video until the very end because i will give you those tips at the end of the video in case if it does happen out of the blue so that you're prepared and you're not caught off guard like better.com employees who learned that they have been laid off 900 people have been laid off over a zoom call and their employment was terminated immediately and they didn't have access to accounts, etc. You want to make sure that you're prepared. So I'll give you some tips on what to, what information to start collecting, etc. However, first we will talk about the signs that the layoffs are coming. If we haven't met yet, hi, my name is Masha and I'm a career strategist helping you advocate for yourself and grow your career in technology. So if you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button because a lot of content is coming. Currently, I'm doing an analysis on what jobs have been cut so far in in tech. So, you know, next video is going to be on that and I don't think you want to miss it if this is a topic that is interesting to you. So hit that subscribe button, like this video because it really helps with the algorithm, comment if you have any other questions, etc. I'm here for you. All right, let's get into the meat of this video. In order to see the signs of the layoff coming, it is important to understand the reasons behind why layoffs happen. And a lot of the times, it's due to cost cutting, especially when a company has been growing at an unsustainable rate, betting on a healthy economy, but recession is in the air. So a lot of companies find themselves cutting costs right now because their growth predictions did not match the reality. For example, Coinbase, a cryptocurrency exchange which has cut its workforce by 18%, which is 1,100 people, has admitted that they have been growing unsustainably. They said that they grew too quickly in 2021 to scale up to take advantage of the crypto craze, which is a little confusing to me. I don't know what's going on with it right now, so I can't give you my opinion on where the crypto market is going right now. So just not the person to give you advice on that. A lot of tech companies are in the same boat as Coinbase and have overhired during or before the pandemic and now they're feeling that money is tight and they need to cut costs. The other reason that a lot of these companies are referencing for cost cutting is the rising inflation and the rising interest rates which makes borrowing money more expensive which means that they have to spend less money and invest more wisely. This is why a lot of companies might be cutting departments that are not bringing in meaningful revenue. Other reasons for layoffs may include merger and acquisition, um, company relocation, loss of funds, loss of business, business closure and seasonality. I don't want to go too deep into this topic because this is I can create a separate video on the topic if you are interested in it, let me know in the comments. But for now, let's go into those warning signs that you should be aware of. Warning sign number one is that there have been layoffs already. This means that the company is going through tough times and you never know whether the management has managed to get you out of it or not so there might be another round of layoffs that's like the most unnerving situation so if layoffs have already happened there might be another round coming warning sign number two is that the company earnings don't meet goals or expectations and if it's losing money you gotta make money in order to pay for things. And so if they're not making money, they might be cutting costs in order to not just bleed money everywhere. And they might be facing pressure from the investors who want them to reduce the costs so that they still maintain some type of profit margin because that's what investors care about. Warning sign number three, the company grew way too fast in the last few years. 
And, you know, you're basically looking for signs of this unsustainable growth where departments have been open, roles have been open like crazy, the company has been hiring like crazy, but there's not a meaningful return on that investment. So if there is that in place, uh, that's definitely a risky space to be in. Layoffs might be coming. Number four, the stock price, if you work at a publicly traded company, has been declining for a few months. This signals a loss of confidence in the company and its leadership and the way it's run, so it's never a good sign. And again, there might be direct pressure from investors to cut costs in order to see better profit margins, so cost cutting. Warning sign number five is the company is cutting its costs. There is cost cutting talk in the air. So it's just clear that they are struggling for money. They're trying to reallocate money, funds, etc. And the first budgets that will go are the entertainment, the non-essential budget, like the pizza night budget or the budget for a team offsite. So look out for warning signs like that. It does not mean that your department will be cut, that your job will be cut. However, it's something to look out for. Number six, there are talks of serious restructuring. Again, it does not mean that your department will be cut. However, a lot of the times restructuring happens when something doesn't work. And a lot of the times it means that it's not generating revenue in the most optimal way. So just be aware that in times like this, like recession, eh, restructuring is not not always great news. We've gone through so many restructuring when I was working at Google, and it was for different reasons. That was a different type of restructuring, but restructuring with recession? Uh. Number seven, the leadership team feels very tense, very stressed, and or they're leaving at a higher rate than normal. If there is a flight of the leadership team, they might know something that you don't know and they might be fleeing the sinking ship before it loses its reputation so that they can find something or protect their reputation, like disconnect from whatever is about to happen from the company. So this is definitely a telling sign. But this is when it's happening at an unusual rate, you know, like they're, they're leaving in packs because people come and go all the time. It's just, it has to be unusual. It has to be suspicious. Number eight, the company is hiring a suspicious number of outside consultants. This might mean that they are preparing for a transition, uh, transitioning and optimizing certain departments, etc. So just, you know, if there are too many outside consultants, that also could be a sign. Number nine, hiring freezes or offers being rescinded. Rescinded? I don't know if I'm pronouncing this word correctly, but however, the offers are being rescinded. rescinded. Hiring freeze is not as scary, but the rescinding of the offers, not a great sign. This means that they've budgeted for something and now they have to go back, back on their word for it. So it also could be a a sign. Number 10, and this is US specific, your company has published a WARN notification. WARN is the Worker Adjustment and Retraining Notification Act, which was imposed in 1988, um, as a law in the US which protects employees, their families, and communities by requiring most employers with a hundred or more employees, so this is uh, relevant for those who work at bigger companies, to provide a 60-day calendar advanced notification of planned closings and mass layoffs of employees. From what I understand, it's when they are going to, um, th there is some type of um, bar. If they are laying off more than 30% of their workforce or 500 people, basically it will vary state per state. So you want to make sure that you understand the laws of the state that you live in and jobhunt.org recommends to set up a Google alert. Um, if you think that could be the case for your company, uh, a Google alert that encompasses your company name, then warn and your state because that will encompass your situation. So a Google alert, if that is published, you will be the first one to know. So make sure that you're watching out for that if you're worried about layoffs being 
happening. Number 11, there is talk of merger and acquisition or the company has announced that it's on the market. We talked about mergers and acquisitions as a reason for layoffs. And a lot of the times it's because when you are merging um, companies, uh, when you are acquiring company and you know the, making them into one, there might be duplicate roles, there might be duplicate departments. So there can be layoffs because of that. Those are more long-term, you know, you have 60 days kind of thing signs. And now this is more short-term signs, in which case you've got to start acting and you've got to implement the tips that I'm about to give you at the end of the video right now. So the first one is your or your colleague's workload is becoming lighter, you have less work and or you're asked to take a pay cut. Pretty self-explanatory. There's not as much work for you to do. There's not much uh, money to pay you. So this is a clear sign that the company is in trouble and there might be implications. Short-term side number two is that you're being kept out of the loop um, on the new developments in the company. You notice that it is very pronounced. It's very different. And your manager is too busy to talk to you. A lot of the times they're just, they, they want to avoid giving you the bad news. So that is that could be a sign that it is coming so you have to prepare yourself for whatever number three you're getting locked out of files and emails permissions are being taken away from you clearly a bad sign so make sure you get onto the tips that i'm about to share with you the number four is that you're getting a lot of questions or a survey from your boss or from the hr about what you do what your work entails what your job entails and finally number five an emergency all employee meeting has been scheduled emergency meetings are never fun especially when it comes to uh times of recession the intention of this video is not to scare you but to prepare you to help you prepare for the worst case scenario so if you see any of these signs or have a gut feeling prepare for that worst case scenario by doing the following. We, may, we wanna make sure that you um, can continue growing your career regardless of the outcome, regardless of the future of this company. And you know, don't panic, don't try to quit because you might be eligible for benefits if you are laid off and that, will, that might allow you to have some type of income or benefits or health insurance, uh, depending on where you live, of course. This is, a lot to get into but basically you might be eligible for those benefits even if you're laid off and so this gives you time to find the next thing but in the meantime I want you to hurry up and collect the following information um, of course being mindful of what is proprietary what is confidential what do you have copyright for etc but collect the following information from from your company account from your files so that you have it and store this information on your personal device or in your personal cloud account. So number one is examples of your best work. You want to save it for later because you never know how it can help you demonstrate your skills later on in your career. Number two, all of your company performance reviews, any rewards that you got for your performance and any emails that you got, any communication that you got from your colleagues, from your peers, from your leaders about how good of an employee you are because you could use that later down the line again to showcase how, you know, how much value you can add to a different company. Then number three, make a list of all of the projects that you have worked on in try to document the impact that you have had in those projects. Try to collect as many numbers as possible. Percentages, numbers, you wanna get all of that out so that you can then use that for your CV. So start working on that document right now. Number four, any training materials, any presentations that you have given um, that you might use in the future or any presentations that you have been part of. Again, being mindful of what is proprietary, what is, you know, what you have copyright for, etc. You don't want to cross any laws here, but if this is a presentation that you have worked on, if this is a methodology that you have created that you can use elsewhere, that you are allowed to use elsewhere, just save those presentations, why not? You might use them in the future. Number five, a copy of the latest version of the employee handbook. If you don't have it readily available, request it from HR and make sure that you, uh, you study the layoff section and what happens in case if 
you're being laid off, what are you eligible for, what uh, benefits would you have, etc. Get it and save it on your personal devices. Then number six, find all of the phone numbers that you can find in the company, especially of the HR department and email so that you can, so that you know who to contact in case if you are laid off and you need to, uh, if you have any questions with, um, about your benefits or if you have any issues with tax documents that they need to send you, etc. Ensure that you're saving all of this on your personal device or on your personal account in the cloud that you can access from your personal device. Just in case if you lose access to your company account or device overnight or just over a Zoom meeting, you wanna make sure that you are prepared and you have that information in a location that you will be able to access it later on. And finally, make sure that you are updating all of the, all of your contact details, all of your information on the company systems, just in case if you're laid off like this and you will be waiting for tax documents or anything else that where your information, your addresses, your contact information is important for certain correspondence. So make sure that you have it all up to date. I know this was a lot and we are living through pretty uncertain times, continuing to live through pretty uncertain times. I want you to breathe. I want you to stop panicking and I want you to remember that you will be okay. Your career will be fine as long as you're taking control of it. And I have a separate video on how you can prepare for a layoff, which I will leave a link to in the description and also over here, over here. Yes. Let me know if you have anything else to add to the list that I have shared, the reasons for layoffs, warning signs to watch out for, and the immediate actions that you need to take when you figure out that layoffs are coming, or if you have a feeling that layoffs are coming. Leave those in the comments below so that we can collect as much information as possible to help people navigate this whole layoff situation. And as always, if you have any other questions that you'd like me to address in one of these videos, let me know in the comments or in the community tab section of my YouTube channel. I'm always listening. For example, the job analysis, the analysis of the jobs that have been laid off is an idea that someone suggested there. So I took it straight away and I found a way to analyze it. Still going through it. Excited to tell you all about my findings, excited to see if I can extract any insights from that that are actionable. Subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't already, give it a like, share it, you know, and we can also be friends on other social media. You can find me as Stereotype Breakers. Have a wonderful time of the day you're currently experiencing. Bye.